Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. Welcome to the 25th day of my 30 watches in 30 days challenge. We're getting down to it now. Tonight we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna be looking at my projects watch. And this thing is art on the wrist. So let's take a look at it. Here is the Projects Watch. And I actually encountered this brand through an ad that came through on one of my social media feeds. And they're so fun. I had to check them out. I love the colors on these keepers here. This is really nice rubber too. And the watch itself is super solid. It is quartz and it's a little bit thick. But part of that is that this watch is actually 36 millimeters, which is pretty crazy. Usually you don't see anything smaller than 40 with ad watches and stuff like that. I would have expected this to be larger than 40, but when I found out its dimensions and stuff, I decided to go for it. It actually has the aesthetic of some of the fun stuff that came out of the Bauhaus, some of the artwork, it's what it reminds me of. It's a mystery dial, sort of. You can see the edge of the disc there, which is kind of ruins that illusion. It'd be cool if that went all the way to the edge so you didn't really notice it, but it's fine. And you can get these in different colorways so the hands will be different colors and whatnot. This watch is perfect for my crazy eccentric Palm Springs Hawaiian shirt that I got with all the Jetsons patterns on it and bright colors. This looks like it was designed to be worn with that shirt. We see that it doesn't have lugs. The strap attaches here at the bottom. And I've actually had to change the battery on this already. And that was super easy to do. Thanks to my case press, I was able to get that back on. These are pretty cool watches. If you go through their catalog, they have some really, really creative pieces on there. And these watches are designed by artists. So the brand hires different artists and they design watches for them. It's a pretty cool business model. And it yields some really fun results. So far, the black coating on this case has held up really well. You can see that it has a nice matte finish to it. And this thing just feels solid. All right, so let me take off my vintage Hamilton and we'll see what the Projects watch is like when you're wearing it. And there it is on my seven inch wrist. These are pretty polarizing designs. I'm sure that there are plenty of you out there who absolutely hate this, but I'm sure there's some of you who are intrigued by it or maybe like it. I just thought it was fun, kind of in the way that swatches are. And I'm glad I picked it up. If you're in a strange mood, this watch is perfect. The dimensions are really nice, except for that thickness. And I think that is partially due to the handset. They left a lot of room for those in there, but it looks fine. Fun, funky, crazy watch. I don't wear it very often, but every now and then I get in kind of an artsy, fartsy mood and this watch is perfect. If you like crazy, fun stuff like this, definitely check out their catalog. There's some cool stuff in there. And telling time on this watch is fun. It's also an interesting experience setting it because those hands are so fat. Uh, part of the fun of this watch. And there you have it, my super fun projects watch. I may have to get some more of their pieces. I like how creative they are, and I like how they're designed by artists, not necessarily watch designers. Thanks for watching.